Yari Finance's Nez Perret here to break down some retail companies that reported earnings. We're still in earnings season, I guess. We still are. And we're talking about BJ's now because BJ's is actually at intraday highs. Let's take a look. It's up uh, just above $74 per share. BJ's Club, oh, look, the uh, wholesale club uh, beating on the top and the bottom line, a very strong quarter for this company. Revenue up 22% year over year. Same store sales up 19.8%. Membership fees up 11%. The company citing gains in traffic and market share. The bottom line is that consumers are looking to save, to have their dollars stretch as much as possible when they go to the store, when they go to buy gasoline as well. Another company that we're watching right now is Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder had opened in the red, but it's right now up about half of a percent after reporting its quarterly results. It's the first quarter guidance and the full year guidance that was a miss here. Also, the company warning about headwinds, inflation, talking about supply chains, slowing economies around the world, and the strong dollar. This is a company that has quite a bit of an international market, and so that strong dollar is going to affect it. And guys, the uh, last one that I just want to touch on is Tapestry. Tapestry up uh, just slightly after its quarterly results. This is uh, the company that is uh, in charge of Kate Spade, of Stuart Weitzman, of Coach. Record annual sales, also revenue for its fourth quarter, though that was a slight miss, and that's because of the China lockdowns. Adjusted gross margin, that came in at 71.7%. That was a, quite a big beat. Also, the company raising its quarterly dividend. As far as any knocks uh, against the quarter, look, inventory rose 35% year over year. Also, its full year earnings forecast that missed analyst expectations. As far as uh, China revenue is concerned, that's expected to uh, decrease 15% in China because of those lockdowns. So again, China uh, having an effect here.